Now to the latest on the devastation left behind by Hurricane Ian. Officials announcing 38 people have now been confirmed killed by this horrific storm. And estimates range from $28 billion to $47 billion in property damage across the state of Florida. After two weeks away from home, a local woman is officially back here in Milwaukee. Our Jessica Maduker was able to hear from her and she met a dog that that woman saved during that hurricane. Ryan, several flights are arriving here at Mitchell Airport today from Florida. And as you can imagine, these passengers are just happy to be home. I spoke with one woman who found herself in not one, but two hurricanes. I'm tired. <laughs> yeah, it's been pretty much 36 hours without sleep. Christina Lloyd is finally back home in Milwaukee after experiencing two hurricanes. Two storms. How are you? Unreal, unreal. Two weeks ago, she flew out to visit family in Puerto Rico. Got caught with the tail end of Fiona, delayed there for another week. Hurricane Fiona hit Puerto Rico as a category one, leaving most of the island without power. Lots and lots of mudslides, devastation, power outage. Christina was relieved when she was able to get a flight out of Puerto Rico, but Mother Nature turned what would have been a shorter layover in Orlando into a longer stay. And then got really caught up in Ian, so I was delayed over a week and a half. So just now getting home from the two hurricanes. And she's not arriving alone. This is Palooza. Okay. Um, there's an organization out there, um, Flight Angels, who are rescuing the dogs out there okay. and sending them for adoption out here to the United States. While in Puerto Rico, Christina decided to help find little Palooza a family. So it just so happens that there was a slot open for this first to come to Wisconsin. So she's practically one years old and I will be meeting up with the foster family before she is adopted out. Despite the storm, travels and stress. She's a cutie. I guess it was all meant to be. It was all meant to be. In Milwaukee, Jessica Maduker, TMJ4 News.